Hi, I'm Diva from Musical Hell, and I know the score. By now, there's no point in even discussing how the internet affects the entertainment landscape. It is the entertainment landscape. It has permanently altered the way we experience television, music, movies, and yes, even stage productions. There isn't an aspect of art and information it hasn't touched, so, since this is a channel all about musicals, we're going to take a brief look at the history of musicals on the web. And it's fitting that history starts with a project that was essentially an argument for the viability of original web content. <laughs> Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog was written by Joss Whedon, his brothers Zack and Jed, and Jed's then fiance now wife Marissa Tancherone during the Writers Guild strike of 2007-2008, which featured the establishment of residuals for online content as a key issue. To demonstrate that quality online content didn't necessarily need to be high-budget or studio-produced, the Whedons and Tancherone developed this perspective-flipped comic book story and filmed it mostly by calling in favors from just about everybody who was willing to lend them. Which is why, even though it features a lot of relatively big names, and in the case of Felicia Day, soon-to-be big names, Dr. Horrible has the homegrown feel that typifies a lot of internet productions. The relative shoestring of a budget, the friends and family filling out the cast, etc. That gives the three-part miniseries a lot of heart, which is something all musicals need. But it's not just the passion of the cast and crew which carry the musical, though it certainly helps, but the surprisingly moving tragicomic story driven by catchy songs and fun, clever lyrics. Have you really heard the internal rhyme scheme in Brand New Day? That's like some Sondheim-level shit right there. This appeared as a moral dilemma cause at first it was weird though I swore to eliminate the worst of the plague that devoured humanity. It's true, I was vague on the how, so how can it be that you have shown me the light? Dr. Horrible went viral, the debut of Act 1 broke the internet before breaking the internet was a thing, a quality that also fueled the success of probably the most prolific creators of online musicals, Starkid Productions. Team Starkid hit it big in 2009 with a Very Potter musical on YouTube, highlighting another aspect of online media, its transformative nature, using parody and satire to comment on popular media trends. In addition to the Very Potter musical series, the team has taken on Disney by the way of Wicked, Star Wars, and everybody's favorite edutainment game where you can die of dysentery, Oregon Trail. Although the music is hit or miss and the humor tends to be a bit sophomoric for my taste, these are entertaining shows which have moments of surprising emotional resonance. So you can try to break me down. a significant part of the internet experience is user input, which is where the next two examples of web-based musicals come in. My Little Red Green Coat is perhaps the most unique entry in this particular category. While the other examples can and have been experienced in other formats, this is entirely a creature of this particular medium, an interactive musical experience. The story follows Jessie as she tries to make her way across New York City to connect with an old flame, guided by the choices of the viewer. While the effect you can have on the narrative is limited, it's fun to see the different roads the story can take, and the music by Alan Schmuckler, who also plays most of the supporting characters, is bright and upbeat. I'm not good at making choices. The Musical is another project fueled by user input, specifically crowdfunding. 
Matthew Mercer launched the Kickstarter for this fractured musical fairy tale in 2014 using one of the more creative and inspiring pitch videos I've ever seen. Hey, you're looking hot. Love the new hair. You're rocking those Crocs. With Timberlake flair. Why not join our party? You won't be sorry. Come move your body. Help make this show. Yeah, no wonder they made their base goal. Like the Team Star Kid Productions, Muzzled puts its own spin on pop cultural phenomena, in this case a little bit of the Disney princess trend mixed with the kids of card-carrying villains try to make good trope, and by using a setting where music is literally power, provides a great context for the songs. The cast features a lot of familiar faces from Star Kid and web series like The Guild and The Lizzie Bennet Diaries, and the first three episodes set up a universe that I hope is expanded upon. I was promised some Kevin Sorbo, damn it! With so many people rocking the online musical, it was only a matter of time before Broadway got in on the act, and that's exactly what they did last June, with Broadway HD's pay-per-view livestream of Roundabout Theatre's revival of She Loves Me. This groundbreaking event brought live New York theater into the homes of thousands who might not have had the means or ability to see the show in person. And what an amazing show it was, with Laura Benanti and Zachary Levi bringing new life into the all-too-familiar story of squabbling antagonists who fall in love. And it represents perhaps the best part of the Internet age, giving people access to something special. I'm Diva, I know the score, and now, so do you. She loves you.